my gosh, I'm doing a very lousy job of it. Hiya Dishies, I'm back for part two of the estate sale haul. The two estate sales I went to, this was the second estate sale and this was a house stuffed with things and it was just open. The family was running this estate sale, which is, I don't know, I always find that kind of nicer. Um, they can tell you about the items. Oh, I forgot to get one thing. Okay, I will go get it. So let me just start off with what I went to get. I didn't do too much research on any of these things. There's a few things I looked up, but um, you know, we're just gonna plow through. This is a Bon Tempe keyboard. The woman who lived in this home was a teacher of some kind. She taught young children. It was full of toys, not necessarily vintage and um, educational items. I got it for my young son who told me he wanted a keyboard, my autistic son. You have to let it warm up. The dogs don't like it, they're sitting there. I guess this is a, you know, popular brand for teaching school kids. Anyway, I got that for Seth and he didn't want anything to do with it. So, so this is a little luncheon cloth and this is how the corners go. And look at that extraordinary embroidery on there. Yeah, and that'll probably be for sale. This was very cool. She also had tons of, um, you know, yarn and art supplies and it looks like it came right off the rack of a store. These are older ribbons. I, how old? I'm not sure. Maybe. This says Franken, Franken Trimming, a Linton company, 100% cotton, made in Western Germany. This is a plastic flat spool, I guess you would call it, with these trims and ribbons, and there's a fair amount on there, and I will be selling those. And then, you know me, I can't pass up vintage kitchen, especially something pink, maybe mid-century uh, utensil holder for the drawer. This is a kind of maybe a Rubbermaid style one. I could not find any m marking, manufacturer mark on it. So yes, that will be for sale and it won't cost very much, but it'll be very cool in your kitchen. And then I bought for Robin because she's doing lots of art right now. And then she said, oh, I don't need any more art supplies, but these are really nice. I guess I could sell them. These are guitar brand oil pastels and these are vintage. And there's supposed to be 48, and I think there's 47 colors there. So I won't turn them all out, but these are nice real art pastel. And it says jewel on it, which I think is just the color palette that was in there. These are some Prang watercolors, which is also a good brand. And I would say these are probably from the 80s. Not quite sure. But there's still quite a bit of color in there. No paintbrush. Cool box. So Robin didn't want those, so I guess I'll be selling them. I'm not sure. And I picked up a lot of nicky knacky stuff. I feel like I probably didn't even bring out everything that I picked up. So forgive me. This, I didn't even know what's in my things, but then when I got it home, I thought that's really interesting. These are curtain hooks in there, which I have absolutely no need for. Um, but look at this little jar. It's a very small jar and it says ball. 
508 on it. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I did look these up and they made these tiny little jars. I guess they were spice jars and they made them in with different flowers on them. Yeah, and you know, I hate to say it, but I really don't know what kind of flower that is. Is that a bluebell? It's got a little purplish color to it and a little orange cap, and I just thought that was cool. What I'm gonna do with these things, I really don't, I really don't know. Um, I like to get little nicky knacky things, which is unfortunate for me. This I thought was super cool, and then after I got it home, I realized, well, it's not that cool because it didn't have a lid. It's one of those collapsing cups. You could still use it. Then I got, she had a whole room full of yarn and sewing things and, oh man, there was so much stuff in this house. They're probably going to have another sale. I got this baggie of goodies. It all came together. It came with this interesting pin cushion here. It's a nice darning needle, which I use for knitting. A vintage clothespin which are superior to new clothespins. If you hang your clothes on the line, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't buy clothespins from the Dollar Tree. Experience. These little scissors, which are made in Germany, I had to look at the marking on here with the loop, so I know you won't be able to see it. You can see there's a marking right in the center there, but they need a little sharpening. So those were in the little sewing bag. And then this tool here is a bodkin of some kind and it's probably for making holes in things. Maybe that nice, um, card basket, this is what was used for that. So other than that, I don't know the particulars of how to use it. But it's, hmm. Hmm. And then all these very cool vintage uh, gauge measures. So these are in inches. This one was cool. Sew and knit gauge, five inches. These little rulers are handy for so many things. And I absolutely love them. This one is made by Traum, T-R-A-U-M. I'm not familiar with that company. And this one is black. So we got a black one, a blue one with some notches on top. And then just a simple Singer straightforward one with a cool red slider there. And then I thought this, this was in there also, and this was so cute. This is the perfect kind of measure to put in your, your pocketbook. It's a snap crackle pop. Little measure, isn't that cute? And then this is a little, crochet needle or tatting needle. Can you see how tiny that is? Look how tiny. And it comes with this little cap on it. So you don't hurt yourself. And this is a boy brand. And this is also a boy brand. This is, it says more threadless knots. This is a tatting needle. I do not know how to use it, or a tatting shuttle, I guess you would call it. You put the tiniest little yarn in there, and this is how you make all those lacy doilies and things. That's how you do things like that. So I really just have a lot of little, little things like that. I'm gonna save the best thing for the end you guys are gonna love. And then I was really excited to find this old Pyrex one cup measure. 
I had another one and I sold it and then I had another one and I gave it to my son William. This is an older one. It almost kind of glows a little bit in the sun here. It's got that kind of yellowing on it. Look at the handle. And it just says trademark Pyrex general household and photographic use only. I guess you could use it for developing pictures. Anyway, it's an old measure and I wanted it and then I got it home and realized it had a chip on the spout. But that's okay. I will keep it anyway and use it. Alicia could dremel that smooth for me with her dremel. She's going to have to teach me how to use one of those. And then there was this old, um, you know, tin measuring set, measuring spoon set. So I may sell that off with my little tin cups that I have, or aluminum cups. So the there were some old um, bottle openers. This was Asahi beer. Lucky Lager, Olympia. I don't know why I like those. Um, this is just an old film canister. People do collect these and use them for things, but really most people will sell them in a lot, not just one, but it's kind of cool. And then this was a cool um, tool here. It's called the Sizzler. It has a patent number on it and it says sparkling. So you could use it to, so you can see how the inside is there. You could use it to open, you know, bottle cap that way, or you could actually use the tab on it and then it folds in half. So I don't know, those kind of things make really cool stocking stuffers. I think they make fun little gift additions to whatever you might be giving someone. And then I couldn't pass this up, this Harbor Palette Company tape measure. I love these little tape measures, don't you? I think a lot of people collect things like that. And this one says Anaheim, California. It has an 800 number on it. When did they start using 800 numbers? In the 80s, 70s? I don't know. It's in great condition. It's yellow plastic and it's cute. And, I want and then you're only going to get a little peek of this. I have a baggie of Christmas things that she charged me $2 for everything in this bag. And you're only going to get a peek because I'm either going to show it at Christmas or in a Christmas in July sale or collab or, oh, I'm spilling things out of it. So look in that. Okay, that's all you get to see. Two dollars. But I will show you one glorious Christmas thing. Ready? Close your eyes. And then open them. Look at this fella. Isn't he cute? So he is a hard plastic deer. He's in excellent condition. He's got lots of glitter on him, but not too much glitter, just the right amount. He's got a little bell on him. I don't know if that was original. And he's got the prettiest eyes. And he's a good size. He is a good size. Here's the one cut measure. So he's a lot bigger than that. And he will be for sale. When? I'm not sure. I actually had paid for my things and then I went and brought them to my car and I had left these other things and I saw that I took one little more pass through and I had to pick them up because I knew you would want them. This is something a lot of you collect or use for display or buy to resell and I just I don't have it in my collection but I had to get these it's a collection made right three is a collection I got three I will be selling these they were nine dollars for the three of them ready let's start with the small one This says thermos, model 2202. 
These thermoses have a little bit of wear, but I don't think they were ever used. I think this guy had them and set them aside. Maybe he used them once. This has a scratch on the top of it. It doesn't go through. You can still drink your water out of there. There's the lid. Glass inside, clean as a whistle. Doesn't have any funny odor. You know, thermoses can get funky. It actually smells new. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's plastic, all of it's plastic, and it's a smaller one. Does it say what size? Pint size. So that would be two cups. Okay. Ready? All kinds of tags in there. Yeah, this is the quart size, metal. Look at that. This one is older. How old these really are, I don't know. Probably some of you know better than I do. Does it even have a date on it? American Thermos Products. And it, you know, it has a little bit of wear on it, but there's the lid. There's the cup, and this one has a cup for a friend. I love that, love that. Let's go camping or let's go to work. Glass inside, clean as a whistle. A Little bit faded on the inside of the cap, but it's, I mean, they're in excellent condition, totally usable. Completely usable. If you want to like fill this up with chicken noodle soup or coffee and go watch the lunar eclipse, it's ready. Ready for you to go with your sweetheart. And this one, who wouldn't like this? It is like new. I believe this is a popular one. This is the plaid with the yellow stripes. This one, look at the bottom. It's like brand new. It says, cord size. I can't see it very well. It has a handy carry handle. Oh, no cup for a friend, but that other tan cup you could take with this one, depending which thermos you want to use. There's the top. Red stopper, I love that. I mean, this doesn't smell like anything at all. It's just incredible. So, that is everything I got there. I know the video went on long. Hopefully I can cut some of it out. What do you think about those? There can't be anyone here. They're not home. What was your favorite thing? This? 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 What was your favorite? I don't know. I love it all and some of it will be for sale. A lot of it will be for sale and I can't wait to show you the Christmas things. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I know you got to see a lot from the last one anyway. So thank you so much for this video burst. <laughs> I think I got to get some things done while my family was gone. And now I'll be back to probably not posting very many videos. Everyone have a wonderful summer beach day, whatever kind of day it is. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Ta!